you. Tonight, the family of one of the Simpsonville women killed in a hit and run in Charleston gather together to say their final goodbyes. Lizzie Zito's life was cut short on Sunday. Taniqua Penix joins us live outside the funeral home where services were held for her earlier this afternoon. Good evening, Carol, Nigel. The funeral service ended hours ago, but this parking lot was filled with loved ones here who wanted to pay their respects. At 20 years old, Lizzie Zito's father says she was full of life and had a bright future to look forward to. Lizzie was everyone's heart and soul. Everybody loved her. Uh, our life should never be the same. Police say Lizzie and her friend Ariana Gamber were walking near a bike lane near the Ravenel Bridge in Charleston when they were hit by a vehicle. Both died and police say the driver took off. This is probably the worst thing anybody can go through. And I know, again, accidents happen, but to leave two people there when it's human to human is worse than what an animal will do. And that, that part I can't forgive. Police arrested Max Gentilin earlier this week. Gentilin was charged with two counts of leaving the scene of an accident causing death. He was granted a $300,000 bond and has been released. And a GoFundMe has been created for both of the girls to help pay for funeral expenses. Reporting live in Simpsonville, Taniqua Penix, WYFF News 4.